All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to do auto investing for e any account that you want. Each month, you can buy a certain amount and just transfer the money in and just rebuy over time and just dollar cost average. This is a good long term strategy and this is what I use. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'll show you the two index funds that I dollar cost average into for the long term. All right, so the first thing is you need to have a Fidelity account. I'm already logged in, as you can see, and you are going to type in auto investing. Once you click on auto investing, what you're going to do is click on how do I set up an automatic investment? Click on that and then click on your scheduled transfers. So this will be the next screen you see where it says ready to set up a recurring transaction. You have two options. You can do automatic investments or you can do recurring transfers and withdrawals. If you do not have money already in the account, then you're going to have to set up a recurring transfer, which just means that you're going to transfer money from your bank account to your Fidelity accounts. So we can start off by hitting set up a recurrent transfer. And then you're going to select which account that you're going to move it from click from it'll show your account and then you're going to do two and it's going to show the fidelity account that you're going to transfer it to so as you can see here you have the account that i want it to transfer to and above here where it's blacked out you just have where it's from so i have my bank and then i have two and then you can either do one-time investment but if you want to do the long-term investment like we're talking you click on reoccurring when you click on reoccurring, you can click the frequency and Fidelity only offers one option for monthly. And then you can choose the start date. So when you choose the start date, let's just say right now it's June 28th, 2023. Let's just choose July 3rd. You can choose a start date. If you do not choose an optional end date, it'll just keep transferring the money as long as you have sufficient funds in that account. So let's say I wanted to do $100. And I only wanted it to last until, let's say, next year. Just keep clicking this hour over. And as you can see, the year starts to change. And I click March. Now, you don't have to do that. You can make it never ending and just delete it. And we have the transaction limit is a max of $100,000. So we do $100 every month and then hit continue. All right, so on this page, you're going to see where it just shows one last step before submitting your transfer. It'll show your bank account, where you're, which account you're transferring it to, the start date, and the frequency, because we made it monthly, will be monthly on the third, and then, then just the dollar amount, and then you just click Submit. All right, so after you set up your recurrent transfers and withdrawals, now you are ready to do your automatic investments. And before we do this, if you already have Fidelity, allows you to do recurrent monthly investments if it's in a mutual fund which we'll go over some at the end of the video. But if you have an ETF or stocks, it won't auto invest in that. You can only buy mutual funds with this, just so you're aware. So I try to stick to the zero expense Fidelity index funds for this. So now to set up the automatic investment, you're gonna click on set up an automatic investment. So this is the next screen you'll see. And what you can see over here is that I have two funds that I already invest in. This is the FNILX, the S&P 500, and the FSPGX, which is your growth fund. Because I already own these in my taxable account, they will automatically pop up for me. If you did not own any funds, it would give you the option to buy a mutual fund, and then you can type in the mutual funds from there. So here, because it's saying mutual funds you own, I can choose the fund right here. So Fidelity Zero Large Cap Index Fund, and I could do hundred dollars or whatever amount I want and I could also do more I could pick the other one as well if I want to and then do additional hundred dollars so now it looks like I'm gonna do two hundred dollars at this sale now what you do is you can make your investment schedule and you can pick on the day of the month that is actually going to execute so we'll make this on the 31st and you can choose quarterly on the first month meaning that you do it in January April July October or you could do it on the second month, but I like to keep it simple and just put it on monthly. So every month it's going to buy $200 worth, 100 of this S&P 500, 100 of this FSPGX. 
and then you can make it so it has no stop date, but you just have to be careful. And your it just says down here that if you don't have sufficient funds, it's just gonna stop the auto investment. There's no penalty, there's no, no fee charged, it just stops it. If you wanna just have this for a certain time frame, you just click this box and then type the dates in that you want the auto investment to stop. For me, I'm just doing no stop date, there's no risk. If you have due to lack of available cash, the associated plan will be just be canceled and you won't be transferring the money. So it's a risk-free thing to do. And then you just submit. And that's how you would have your scheduled monthly buys every month and you won't even have to think about it and you're just investing for the long term. So it's a good strategy for anybody that is trying to just set it and forget it. So in my taxable account, I invest in the FN ILX and the FSPGX, and those are long term. So I'll just do a quick breakdown of them in this video. And these are two index funds that have zero expense ratios for the FN ILX, and this one has 0.06%. And I just continue to invest them monthly, just a certain dollar amount. And I don't look at the price, I just continue to buy long term in the taxable account. So as you can see here, I have the Fidelity Zero Large Cap Index Fund. This basically just follows the S&P 500. It costs $15.37 a share currently, and currently it's up 14% on the year. Um, the biggest thing with this is that it has no expense ratios. So Fidelity offers the zero cap index funds as part of, if you are a Fidelity customer, you get offer to this. Just keep in mind that if you own the zero expense ratios, you are not allowed to transfer this to Vanguard or Merrill Lynch or Bank of America, whatever other source that you could invest your money. It has to stay within Fidelity. Otherwise, you would have to sell those shares before you transfer the money. So this is just the basic S&P 500, and it just consists of the 500 top companies in the U.S., and it just shows you that their top 10 holdings are in these companies such as Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, NVIDIA, Google, Meta, and Tesla, if you haven't heard of those companies. Next, I'm going to show you just the FSPGX. And I have a video specifically on FSPGX that you can definitely, I'll leave a link in the bottom of the video just so you can refer to it really quickly. Next, we're going to click on FSPGX. And this is a similar fund with a good expense ratio of 0.035, which means that if you had $10,000 invested, you're gonna pay $35 per every $10,000 invested. And the reason I like this, this fund separate from the S&P 500 is you notice that in the S&P 500, it's the same companies with Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Nvidia, Google, Tesla. The difference is look at the look at the holdings. It's concentrated. Almost 50% of the portfolio is just in these 10 companies. I personally own Apple shares, Microsoft, but I like to have an even more like a more spread out portfolio where the FPX the FSPGX, the large cap growth fund, it still invests in 500 companies. It has 500 holdings, but 50% of your this, this whole index fund just invests in these 10 companies. So I like that concentration because if you look at the year to date gains, where I just compared the S&P 500 was around 15%, this is up 27, 26% in the same year to date returns. So you're going to get much more drastic swings, whether it's in the red or the green. So if you have a high risk tolerance, it's definitely something to look forward to actually investing in because the expense ratios are so short, it's just so small at 0.35. And then you can also just get the, instead of owning just Apple, and if Apple goes out of business in the future, you have other companies that can bring the fund up. So I like to have that risk portfolio but you also have the coverage because you're still investing in another 500 companies all right guys that's what i have for you today this is my channel if you found the video to be helpful please like and subscribe and make sure you look through my videos and my playlist i have plenty of stuff that you can see whether it's fidelity active trader pro if you're more of an active trader or you're taking the long-term investments i'll add this video to here as well